morning guys and welcome back to LA vlog part two. This is gonna be the final LA vlog, but we still have like two days worth of vlogging and content, so don't worry. I'm currently sitting you guys down just like on the desk that I have here in the room. I literally just ended part one. Now we're here for part two. My hair, um, I re like touched it up with my Dyson Airwrap, but I have it up in a clip for a second just to like lock in the curls. I find that that's really helpful after using my Dyson for some reason. I don't have a problem with the curls like staying all day. They truly do stay all day. Um, but I just find it's like really locking in at first. That's the, that's the way to go. Anyways, if you're new here, hi, my name's Ruby. Um, I actually live in New York City and this is basically just my lifestyle channel, lots of vlogs, beauty content, health and wellness content, anything that really like is a part of my life that I wanna share with you guys. Um, but currently I'm in California for a business trip for a show that I'm producing. Um, I work for myself full time. I run an online producing business. Um, and so I'm here. I had a client who flew me out to LA for this event, which is really awesome. And today is event day. We have finally made it. Um, it's currently, what time is it? It's currently 8.40. Oh, look at me and Kevin. I miss Kevin and Dakota so much. Um, but yeah, it's 8.40. I have a car picking me up at the hotel um, at 9.30. I need to get some breakfast. I don't really want to like eat the free breakfast here at the hotel because it's not that filling and I think there's a breakfast spot like right across the street from where I'm staying I think it's called like egg slut or something like that but then later tonight who knows I might go back to the Americana and sit outside I really would love to treat myself to an outdoor meal I know I'm doing a lot of eating out on this trip but it's just because like it's so go 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 when I go to Utah for the next week with my mom and sister for my mom's birthday we're gonna actually like buy groceries to keep in the hotel room because we almost have like a little cabin with like a kitchen and stuff but for right now it's a lot of eating out so I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight but I do want to have a nice evening and then tomorrow is a completely free day in LA I'm actually moving to a different hotel to be closer to the airport because my flight to Utah the next day is very very early I actually really like my makeup today I did a quick like 10-15 minute face and I really like it. I'm not even wearing a lip color because I've been wearing a mask all day, but I do like a full face of makeup. Um, just so that when I'm here on camera, it doesn't look crazy. But yeah, I don't have anything on my lips. I actually really like my natural lip color. It's like pretty pink. Um, so as long as I don't have like foundation or something on them, it looks like okay. But yeah, so let's go get breakfast because I do want time to like actually eat. I'll do a quick little outfit of the day for you guys first. Another super simple outfit, but one that I'm just like really in love with. I love simple outfits like this. Um, but like my same everyday gold jewelry, obviously this bralette is free people. This is the white H&M tank top. I wore the black one yesterday if you watched my uh, previous vlog. I just love the high neck, like the cut of this is super flattering. I love a neckline like this. And then it's like perfectly cropped to where it like hits my high-waisted jeans without showing like, you know, really anything. I love these jeans. These are some of my favorite. I will link them down below as long as they're still available. These are the Abercrombie. I think they're called like the highest waist, like ankle skinny jeans. I just love these because again, they hit like right where my converse starts so they're just really flattering i got them true to size these are a 25 but yeah that's the fit and then my platform white converse i'm also bringing a black cardigan just in case it gets cold later today it's not cold at the sound stage where i'm producing but it does get cold here at night but yeah that's the fit let's go get breakfast yay i love vlogging for you guys She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down. I don't really think that this is the most flattering angle. But the thing is, I brought my mini tripod with me because I didn't want to pack like a full-on tripod for this trip. So because it's not very tall, I had to like angle the camera up. So I have this very nice little upshot here. Um, yeah, because otherwise you would have just seen like my chin down. Anyways, hello. Um, I can't stop. I went back to Lemonade for one last hurrah, but I did not get the lavender elderflower, wait, what? Lavender elderflower lemonade. 
I thought I said that wrong, but that's right. Um, I didn't get that this time because I was like, Ruby, you gotta like choose something different. People are gonna think you're insane. I went to dinner somewhere else. I treated myself to a meal outside actually, but then I stopped by on my way back home to the hotel and I got the cucumber mint flavor. But before I go to bed, I'm very tired if you can't tell. Now I'm gonna do a face mask after I talk to you guys for a second. Before I go to bed though, I want to do a little teeny tiny haul because I know that I said I wasn't going to shop at all, but I found a couple things that I really, really liked and I had some leftover money from my birthday, um, just from like gifts that I received, like checks that I received. And so I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna get myself a couple pieces and they're all things that I've actually been looking for for forever. All I needed to do was just go to LA, I guess. Talk about a store that I haven't been to in forever. Also, I'm sorry, you can hear like my evening voice setting in. Um, I actually went to Brandy Melville, which I don't think I've shopped at Brandy Melville since I was like, 12 honestly but i got three things all things that i've been looking for and when i just stumbled into brandy i was like oh my god they have all three first things first i got this really chunky ring i've been super in you guys know i like I, i'm a lover of rings i always have been but i've been looking for like more chunky like thicker rings to accessorize with recently so i found this one it's a really thick gold band. I think I'm gonna have to put my hand behind this so that it'll focus. It's a really thick gold band and then it just has a smiley face. Next, I got this dress and I love this dress. It's kind of unbuttoned right now. So let me see if I can just kind of put it back together. It's just this plain black dress. It has a pretty like intense collar, which honestly I love and it buttons up. And then what I love is the back, there's this little tie. So you can cinch it in the back and it just gives your waist a really, really nice shape. I would wear this with like heeled combat boots with my platform Converse. I'd wear it with like a pair of like my summer heels. There's just so much you can do with this. And then lastly from Brandy, I got this maxi skirt. Um, again, I've been on the hunt for just some easy like maxi skirts to wear for the summertime because again, it's breezy, keeps you cool. It's been so hot in New York. And so I found this one, it's so cute. It's light blue and then it has white flowers on it and it has like these little tears stitched into it. I don't know if you can see that at all. Anyways, love this. Even just with like the white tank top that I'm wearing right now. So that's everything that I got from Brandy. And then I went to one other store. It's actually a pop-up. So if you're in LA, if you're near the Americana, I would really recommend checking it out. The bag got a little crushed on the way home, but it was a store called The Modern Muse. I actually ended up speaking to the owner of the store, one of the owners. It's owned by two sisters, which I thought was just amazing. She was so sweet though. I love the clothes i love the curated pieces that they had um honestly like if more fit me they were just out of a lot of smalls when i went but like if more would have fit me i probably would have bought quite a few more pieces they had so many cute like corset tops and matching sets and these gorgeous summer dresses i will totally link them down below oh they do have an online shop at first i thought that they maybe only had an instagram but they do have an online store too anyways that's the card that they put in my bag and then there's their information but again I'll put it down below. They were just so nice. So I actually got another ring. Uh, this one I thought I would wear on my left hand on my pointer finger. So I wear the brandy one on my right and then this one on my left. Like, are you kidding me? It's just this thicker band and then it has these like fake diamonds in it. I just really liked the look, especially with my everyday like Tory Burch ring that I wear on my middle finger. I really like the way that that looks together. Might not be everybody's taste, but I really like it. And I can also wear this on my thumb if I wanted to, which I personally really like thumb rings. That's kind of fun. I could do that too. That's kind of cute. And then I got a pair of jeans. I am so excited for these, you guys. Um, I was inspired recently by Kenzie Elizabeth who always talks about her Princess Polly asymmetrical jeans. And ever since I first saw her wear them and talk about them, I have wanted a pair so bad. But I've never ordered from Princess Polly. I really hate buying denim online just because for me, denim is so hard to shop for. It's that and shoes. I never want to buy those online. I always want to go in store for them. And so I saw these, it was the last size small. I tried them on, I'm obsessed. They are these super high-waisted, kind of like lighter wash, straight leg jean, but they have an asymmetrical waist. Are these going to be everybody's taste? No. 
Am I gonna have people stop me on the street maybe and say like, hey, you buttoned your jeans wrong? Honestly, maybe. In New York, people are not afraid to say things. But by this point, they're definitely like a pretty big trend. So hopefully people will know that like it's intentional. I just love these though and they fit me so well. I don't even have to wear a belt with them. I might get them altered just a little bit to be a little bit more snatched at the waist, but I'm really obsessed with them and they weren't even that expensive. Yeah, they were $69. Honestly, totally worth it. Love, 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 love these. Maybe I'll wear them tomorrow or maybe I won't because I kind of want to be comfy on my day off. I don't know. Either way, I really like these. <laughs> And that's literally all I got. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to the Grove because I haven't been there in quite a few years, but I'm not gonna do like any shopping. I'll probably window shop, but there's really nothing that I need. Even up until tonight, I wasn't compelled to like buy anything even with like all the stores that I went into. But I do think I wanna go to the Grove. I definitely tomorrow want to go to Alfred's Tea and I will explain why. I don't wanna explain it tonight because I'm really tired but I'm gonna explain tomorrow. It's gonna be freaking fantastic. Honestly, I was kind of like overwhelmed with the fact that I had a free day in LA tomorrow because I was like, what do I wanna do? I have like all this time to myself. And so I honestly started thinking, I was like, do I wanna go to Disney? Like, do I wanna plan like a really big day? And then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? Next time I do Disney, I wanna do it with Kevin again. I don't really feel like tiring myself out tomorrow after working so hard. So I think we're just gonna have a nice chill day outside, get some more sun, cause that always feels good. Go to the Grove, go to Alfred's, call it an early night because I leave for Utah early Monday morning. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Checking out of the hotel. I wanted to do a little outfit of the day cause I'm wearing my new Brandy dress. I wasn't gonna wear this today and I was like, you know what, a dress Easy, breezy, we love it. So here is the outfit for today. I'm wearing my Nike Metcons just because I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking today and I needed a break from the Converse. Um, specifically like for my back recovery, it's just not good to wear the same shoes every single day, but the jewelry is obviously staying the same and everything like that. And I just have my hair clipped up for now, but I also have a slip scrunchie on. Here's the dress from Brandy. Like I said, I think it's really cute and it gives like a nice shape. So let's talk about the plan because I'm checking out of the hotel in like 10 minutes and I wanted to vlog here where it's quiet rather than outside where you guys can't really hear me. I literally just have you guys set on top of my purse right now. We're doing like makeshift tripods. Plan is gonna be I'm gonna have an Uber pick me up and I'm gonna have him like make a stop on the way because like you can schedule them to make like additional stops. And we're gonna go to Alfred's and we're going to pick up their matcha in blue drink, which I am so excited for. Now you might be wondering, Ruby, why are you going out of the way just to get like a matcha latte? So back when I was working at Barney's in New York, they did a collaboration where we had a pop-up Alfred's, which if you guys don't know, it's a tea and coffee shop here in LA. They have like a ton of coffee shops and then they have one dedicated tea location called Alfred's Tea. And when we had this pop-up at Barney's, I never tried it before, but I've heard about Alfred's, and they have this drink called the Matcha in Blue, where it literally looks like a green and blue matcha, but it has like lavender and like mint in it if i'm remembering correctly it was one of the most delicious drinks i had ever had i remember i got one every single day while that pop-up shop was happening i thought it was just a drink that they created for the barney's pop-up shop but turns out it's always there at the alfred t location so we're gonna go pick that up and then we're gonna go to the hotel hopefully i can do an early check-in if not i'm just gonna leave my bags there and then we are going to go to the grove we're gonna walk around do a little window shopping. Like I said, I don't need anything. I just wanna like be outside and enjoy a day in LA without work. And then I'm either gonna have dinner at the Grove, but I don't really know because I don't want to like hit traffic coming back to the hotel because then Ubers get really expensive. But depending on the time, I'll either have dinner at the Grove or I do know that there's a nice restaurant in the hotel that I'm staying at. So we'll see. We'll kind of make it up as we go along, but I'm so excited for Alfred's, you guys. Like I can't even wait. It's gonna be so good. If you guys have ever had the matcha and blue drink, than like you get it. It's unlike anything I've ever had. And I have searched New York City high and low for something similar, but I have not found it. You can obviously get like great matcha in the city, but I've never found anything comparable to this specific drink. So I'm hoping it's everything that I remembered it to be. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah. Made it to the hotel. Also, I don't know why I'm getting like red splotches on my skin. I woke up with those. Maybe 
I don't know, maybe I've been using too much of the Paula's Choice exfoliating like toner or maybe it's just from like being hot outside. It's fine. Anyways, made it to the hotel. I'm staying at the Hyatt Regency, which is right next to LAX, which is awesome. I don't have to take a car there in the morning. I can literally just like walk across the street and the airport's right there. So let's do a little hotel tour because this room is really cute. So after you first walk in, there's like... A little closet area, which I would definitely utilize if I was staying here longer. We have a great full-size mirror. And then here's the bathroom. Super cute. I really like the sink, actually. But anyways, then you walk in here, and this is the room. My camera's about to die. I need to charge it. But great, like, king-size bed. Little couch area. Table. TV, super, super cute. My camera is definitely gonna die in a second, so I'll say this really fast, but reunited and it feels so good. This is just as good as I remembered. Did not disappoint. Anyone who lives in California, you have to let me know if you have tried the matcha in blue from Alfred's. It is so good. And then I also got this scone from Alfred's. And no joke, this is maybe the best scone I've ever had in my life. It's like buttery, sweet, but not too sweet. I... Love it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my camera charge for a little bit. I'm gonna let my phone charge for a little bit, drink my matcha, eat my scone, like decompress for a second because I was in the car for like an hour. Um, and then I think we're gonna go to the Grove. As long as Uber rates aren't crazy. The Uber though getting over here was like a lot cheaper than what I thought it was gonna be. So hopefully, fingers crossed, getting to the Grove isn't super expensive. And then I'll probably spend a couple hours there. But for now, be right back. Gotta eat my delicious scone. Something that features your family. Oh my god, you guys, it was actually kind of a, a crazy day. Whoa, I will uh, I'll explain it once I take a shower, but I want to do that because it's almost 10 o'clock. This is so much later than I intended being up, going to bed, etc. So I'll take a shower and then I'll fill you guys in on what happened. I'm gonna make this story short and sweet because it is super, super late. I just got out of the shower, as you can probably tell. I'm gonna let my hair air dry and then blow dry it once it's like 80% dry. Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed because it's almost 11 o'clock, so much later than when I wanted to be asleep. Long story short though, um, let's just quickly talk about my crazy night and I didn't vlog it honestly just because I was a little overwhelmed. So last night super randomly I noticed that I had like some sort of rash on the back of my like head at the base of my scalp and it like wasn't super itchy but it did burn a little bit and I felt like I had like hard scabs and like a couple of sores. I know that that's so TMI. But anyways, I went to bed. I thought it would go away as weirdly as it came on. Um, but throughout the day today, it just like spread more. It got more noticeable. Um, it was itchy. And so I figured before we go to Utah for a whole week, because this resort is like in the middle of nowhere, I called my mom and she was like, you should go to an urgent care and just kind of see what's going on. And I agreed, but I was kind of just like, ugh, because by the time we had made that decision, you know, I was like at the Grove having a nice time and it was getting late. So I wasn't even sure if I was going to find an urgent care in LA that's open 24 hours. Because in New York, that's super common, but I didn't know about California. Turns out there's an urgent care right by the hotel because obviously, Obviously, like a ton of people are getting like COVID tests in order to fly. So I made a last minute appointment, but apparently they don't really go by like who actually makes an appointment. So I had to wait around for another hour. Then I was seen by the doctor. Um, I got a prescription. I had to take an Uber to a 24 hour CVS, wait there for like 45 minutes while that prescription was filled take another Uber back to the hotel and here we are. I didn't even really get a proper dinner. I just mostly bought like a ton of snacks. But yeah, a little overwhelming, a little crazy. Um, they said it just looks like I have a rash. Like I suspected, I had to get some special medicated shampoo and some cream. Um, hopefully I feel better tomorrow. 
I honestly feel fine. I just feel like a little itchy. Um, I also bought some Benadryl. I'm going to take one before I go to bed. But that was my night. I took way uh, more Ubers than what I thought I was going to. Um, didn't budget that in because I wasn't expecting to have to go to urgent care while I'm here in California. And although I'm a little overwhelmed, I'm glad I took care of myself. I still had a really fun day, like last day here in California. It was just a little bit of an unexpected ending. Anyways, I'm gonna take care of myself, I'm gonna go to bed, and then we will vlog tomorrow morning when we're at the airport on our way to Utah. Rather than update you again on my morning and what happened, I'm just gonna insert the TikToks because I think you'll enjoy them. I don't have to re-explain myself again. Um, let's just roll the clips. Ow, let's just roll the clips. So my flight was just delayed and then canceled. I don't leave until tomorrow. I don't have a hotel. And they're saying that I might not get my bag back. Um, if anyone has connections at American Airlines, can somebody please help me? So you know one of those days or a couple of days when you have like, you know, little things that keep happening and happening and then like a big thing happens and you just kind of like break down and you can't stop it. You can't help it. You're just crying. Uh, that was me today. Hence <laughs> my TikTok. Um, I'm back at a hotel um, and I wanted to update you guys on kind of what happened. And um, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who uh, commented on my last TikTok, sent me text messages, DMs, and we're just like, I hope everything gets sorted out. I'm so sorry. I understand. I know that some people might get mad at me for getting so worked up about a canceled flight. And usually I'm not that person, but, um, it was just, it, it was kind of crazy. And last night, long story short, I'm totally fine, but I ended up having to go to like urgent care last night. So I was also running off of like hardly any sleep because I was, doing that last night, trying to find a 24 hour pharmacy. It was, it was a lot. But um, this morning I was supposed to fly out to, not back to New York actually, somewhere else for my mom's birthday. I'm still going, I'm just going tomorrow. Um, I got to LAX, the check-in desk was insane. I waited in line for about an hour. There was only one woman at the desk. I felt so bad for her. Checked my bag, um, was racing to my gate, and five minutes before we were supposed to board, they told us that our flight was delayed. And then about 10 minutes later, I didn't even get a text or an email. I just happened to look at the departures board, and I saw that our flight was completely canceled. So I got on the phone with American Airlines customer service as I was walking over to the support desk. And while I was on the phone with them, I was able to schedule a flight for tomorrow. But when I got to the help desk, I kid you not, like not even exaggerating, there were maybe 75, 80 people in front of me and there was only one woman working the support desk. So in terms of like reimbursement for my bag and hotel, it's probably not gonna happen, but for me, honestly, it wasn't worth waiting in that line and I was already like really overwhelmed. But all of that is just to say like, American Airlines, please do better. I understand that flight delays and cancellations are sometimes just inevitable, but you need to have the support staff to help those who are then affected by these situations. Um, because that was that was a lot and it wasn't like the employee's fault it's not the people who's faulted as being the only one at the support desk it's the company who isn't obviously hiring enough people um but i'm okay thanks to everybody for again love support asking if i needed anything i love you guys so much and um we're all good <laughs> i'm just gonna decompress in my hotel room for the rest of the day i honestly don't want to do anything um so i'm just gonna hang <laughs> So that's the update. My flight was delayed, then canceled. Uh, haven't been reimbursed for anything. I'm honestly just gonna worry about that later. I'm back at the Hyatt, different room, same hotel. I'm honestly so thankful though that they still had rooms available. It's the exact same layout. So it kind of feels like I blinked and like never left. But I fly out really early tomorrow morning at like 5 a.m. Hopefully no delays or cancellations fingers crossed and i know that a delayed flight a canceled flight is not the end of the world i was just very very overwhelmed today especially because i had already gone through um like tsa pre-check and baggage check and i didn't have my suitcase and then they kept telling me there's a chance i might not get my suitcase back like they were just going to put it on 
whatever flight I got like rescheduled to, but I had medicine in my suitcase. It was just like a big mess. And also after my evening last night, having to go to like the urgent care and not getting as much sleep as I wanted to and spending more money on Ubers than what I thought I was going to. It was just, it was a lot. It was like the culmination of a lot of things and I broke down, I had a moment, but I think it's really important to show that, especially here on the internet when so many people try and make it seem like those things aren't supposed to happen. So we have another unexpected day in LA. Um, I don't want people to think like, oh man, her trip like ended up really not being great. It's been a great trip. This is just very unexpected. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna lounge in the hotel for today. I don't wanna go anywhere, especially because my flight leaves really early tomorrow. I just wanna relax, watch some movies on my computer, watch some YouTube, get some computer work done because I do have some computer work to do. Um, and yeah, we have my luggage back. So thankful for that. Um, so maybe I actually will like do my hair last night. I just dried it, but I didn't wanna go through actually like styling it and stuff because I would have been up really late and it looks crazy right now. So maybe we will take my Dyson air wrap to it and actually like style it. Everyone's lining up to see it. There must be something. There's something about a clean face. Now all I need is for this red splotch and that red splotch to go away. I think they're like a slight chemical burn from some tea tree oil that I used two days ago, but they are looking better. Is this maybe the most random thing I've ever vlogged? Just foam rolling my legs? Maybe. Ugh, I'm so glad that I brought this with me though. You know, I've been sitting a lot on this trip because obviously you're like in cars and sitting more in LA than you are in New York. So my muscles really need it, but also like after today, just like being stressed out, I really feel like I need this. We're going on an airplane tomorrow, so even more sitting. I'm just rolling out my calves because my calves always get super tight. And I'm gonna roll out my glutes as well. You guys, we made it barely. I'll explain when we get to Salt Lake City Airport. This is crazy. So it's been a few days <laughs> and I just wanted to end the vlog here. I'm in Utah. Um, I think it's okay that I say this because by the time that this video goes up, I'll be back in New York. But as you can tell by my sweatshirt, I'm currently at the Sundance Resort. That's where we're staying. Um, it's beautiful. We have like our own little cabin here, which is really great. But yes, made it on my flight, made it to Utah. I got to the airport two hours in advance again, and the lines were so outrageous. I almost missed my flight again. And I checked in early. I, I truly gave myself plenty of time, but LAX is just kind of like a nightmare right now. I know that the airlines everywhere are having issues, but it was especially crazy at LAX, um, but I'm just happy to be here and happy that it all got sorted out. But anyways, yeah, I have like two more days here. I'm just gonna enjoy our vacation, time to relax. I've also still been working a lot. Also, please ignore this little red spot on my face. I accidentally scratched myself last night. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button. More vlogs are definitely on the way, especially once I get back to the city. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. Subscribe to my podcast check out my Amazon shop the links for that are always in the down bar below I love you guys so much thank you for watching I hope that you guys are staying safe happy and healthy and I will see you guys again very very soon bye